We have two sections. We have the novice section and the advanced section. Um, we run the courses to try and get them a lot of the novice have never saw a sheep before and it's really good for getting them started, showing them in the right direction. The, um, a lot of the young, I was a young farmer and that's where I started and it's a great footing for young boys to start and we're getting good response and this year we had 14 in the course and it was absolutely brilliant. Well, taking part in the course from someone who's never shore a sheep before to get into the competition is a lot of work behind the scenes at home and with the instructors at the course. Like, never ever seen a sheep sheared or that before to be able to get here. There's a lot of skills that they're, over their years of shearing, are able to pass on to you and advice, to be able to techniques holding the sheep, what way to move your hand through the wall, the hand's not shearing. Just a lot of different advice and skills that they have learned that they can give you to be able to shear sheep correctly and well enough in front of a crowd. The advice we give them just before the competition is, what we've taught them at the course, go slow, just remember, try and remember what we've taught them and go slow, take it easy. It's not a race, I know time comes into it, but at this stage, all we want the young fellas to do is shear clean and get their pattern right. And then when they leave Balmoral and go away and start and do work, it's just really numbers. It's all like practice, more pra practice makes perfect. So we'll just try and get them to remember everything we've taught them. Before going up on the shear at the final here at Balmoral, nerves obviously kick in. And then they call your name out and get up there. And before you actually get that sheep out on the board and get the handpiece going, everyone's nervous. I don't care what they say, that everyone is. But once you get going, there's no better feeling if you, everything goes to plan, the sheep behaves itself and you do a good job. It doesn't matter about time. If you can just take the wool off as clean as you can, it's a great feeling at the end of it that you're able to say, I, can, I was up there, I done that in front of this crowd. And, be proud of yourself. Anybody can shear a sheep. Um, there's no real special, just somebody that's fit and keen to work. That's, if you're keen to work, you'll go through a lot of pain at the start with your back and that, but we all went through that pain. And there's some boys give up, but 90% of them keep at it. And if you just go through that pain barrier, it'll get easier every day. Well, from having, working at my farm at home, we always just have to get a sheep shear in to shear our sheep. So now I can do it myself, which is taking cost out of that. Plus that I now shear neighbours' sheep and other farmers around the country's sheep. I'm able to develop a bit of income through that there. And the more and more sheep you shear, the better you obviously get. Anyone that's any slight interest at all in wanting to shear sheep, definitely get down to the course. Willie Jones, that they're brilliant coaches and they'll not, no matter what standard you're at, They'll talk you through it, take your time, try to teach you as much as they can teach you in the two-day course. And the amount of skills that you'll learn there yourself that you can take away and use at home and then come back next year to the course again and hopefully be better, come to Balmoral like then and just prove to yourself that you can turn around and say, oh, I couldn't share, went to the course, now I can do this.